your heavyweight champion in the ring at the boxing match the other day, Tyson Fury, Dillian White, uh, says he wants to fight Tyson Fury, says he wants that in his contract, that he can do boxing matches. I know it's something you've done before with Connor and Floyd. Thoughts on, on what Francis has said? Uh, with well, the, difference, the difference was the Connor Floyd thing became bigger than, you know, everywhere I went, people were talking about it. All the media right. was talking about it. Fans wanted to see it. Nobody's beating my door down for this fight. Um, and, and I love Tyson Fury. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm friends with Tyson. He, he's one of the greatest boxers of all time. Yeah. One of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. Going in against one of my MMA guys. It just, we saw this movie before. Right. Seems we know like how this it, story ends. It seems like it would be a, a near, if not an impossible task for Francis Ngannou to, to, bo to box a guy who cannot be hit, it seems, by the best heavyweight boxers in the world. 100%. And he just fought Cyril Gunn and wrestled him. Yeah, I, 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 I hear you. I, I hear you. Let's just, we'll leave that one there. Um, <laughs> it's a silly conversation. I know you have a, a special place in your heart for this show, Dana. How about Tough 30 premiering Tuesday? Yeah, 100%. You know, we brought it back last season and it absolutely killed it. This season, you know, uh, you know the coaches are as much the story as the fighters. So yeah. I always try to bring in coaches who can offer a lot to these to these young kids. And, you know, Juliana Pena is the world champ now, beat yeah. Amanda Nunes, the, the greatest female fighter of all time, and Juliana Pena won the ultimate fighter, has been on it before. So these coaches have a lot to offer. And then obviously at the end, the rematch of what many people believe is one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. You know, I talked to Juliana the other day, Dana, and she was saying that she still feels like people – discount her don't believe she's the better fighter she's she still feels like the underdog she said do you subscribe to that is she still the underdog or, or is she the the kind of the queen of the division now when, when you beat somebody like amanda nunez unfortunately you got to do it twice you know yeah. you do it twice and people will start to, to, to give yeah. you the i mean if you even look at a guy like kamara uzman kamara uzman is the pound for pound best fighter in the world and there's no doubt about it. There's no, yeah. there's no even argument. He's the greatest welterweight of all time. He's laughing everybody now, right? Period. Yep. And, um, you know, pe people still, still talk shit about him. It's crazy. Crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I asked Juliana, I said, when does it look like the rematch is going to happen? And she said, well, we're not sure yet. She suggested that she would like to. She was, had interest in fighting on the same card as John. I know a lot of moving parts here, but if John were to fight uh, sometime in September or October, possibly against Stipe, I know you've suggested when we talked last. Uh, what do you think about that, Dana? Is that a possibility? Yeah, she won't be on the same card as John Jones. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Uh, her, her, her and Amanda will actually be headlining. 